Okay, this is a short tutorial on how to use linear equations to solve word problems. Let's start with the sample problem. As usual, when we are doing word problems, you need to read the problem carefully and highlight important information, okay? So let's read the problem. Mrs. Nass started a cookie shop to compete with Mrs. Field's cookies. She decided to charge $50 for one box of cookies and $40 for every additional box of cookies bought. Write a linear equation showing how much Mrs. Nass can earn from each customer. Okay, so let's look at the first sentence. Mrs. Nass started a cookie shop to compete with Mrs. Fields cookies. Okay, so there's no important information there. Okay, so let's go to the second sentence. She decided to charge $50 for one box of cookies and $40 for every additional box of cookies bought. Okay, so there are important information here. First is $50 for one box. That means the first box, okay? This is the cost for the first box. Okay, what else is important? $40 for every additional box. That means after you buy the first box, which is $50, any other box you buy will only cost $40 now, okay? So if we're looking at boxes, the first box is $50. And then every other box you buy, it doesn't matter how many, will all be $40, okay? So write the linear equation. So this is our linear equation. Remember, y equals mx plus c, okay? So now, from the word problem, we need to find out what y, m, x, and c are, okay? So in linear equations, y is usually the total, okay? Total cost, it can be total cost, total amount, okay? Total items, okay? As long as it's the total, that's why, okay? Now let's look at $50 for one box, okay? Is $50 the slope, X, or the constant? What is the, what is the, uh, remember the definition for constant? Okay, constant means never changes, okay? It's there always. So, $50. $50 would be the constant. Why? Because you will always pay $50 no matter how many boxes of cookies you buy. If you buy one box, you will pay $50. If you buy two boxes, you will still pay the $50 and the additional box will be 40. If you buy four boxes, you will still pay the $50 and the other boxes, the additional boxes will be $40 each, okay? So now let's look at $40, okay? $40 is also the consistent price of every additional box, okay? So that would be your slope. Because you will always charge $40 for each additional box. So therefore, what is the only thing that changes? The only thing that will change will be the Y value, okay? This is the only thing that will change because this represents additional Okay, the number of additional boxes, okay? So that's the variable. That's why it changes, okay? Some people will buy one box. Some people will buy four boxes. Some people will buy 10 boxes. And that is this one, okay? So how do we write our linear equation? It is y equals 40x plus 50. Okay, so when you're calculating, you don't really need to write the dollar sign. I just wrote it here. 
Okay, but then when you give the final answer, the dollar sign needs to be back, okay? So now let's apply our um, linear equation. So it says here, calculate how many, how much Mrs. Nas can earn if a, buy, if a customer buys eight boxes, okay? So let's figure out what is X? The customer buys eight boxes, okay? So let's go one, oh sorry, yeah. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, why did I make the first box red? That's because that is the box that you need to pay $50 for. So what do all these green boxes represent? These are all your additional boxes okay which you pay forty dollars for okay so my question is what is x equal to is x equal to eight or is x equal to seven okay x is equal to seven why seven because you only have seven additional boxes, extra boxes, okay? The first box is 50, additional boxes is 40. So this is your calculation. So now, y equals 40x plus 50, y equals 40 times seven plus 50, y equals 280 plus 50, y equals 330 okay so that's how you show your work okay now if the question said the customer if if the question said the customer bought eight additional boxes okay now if the question said eight additional boxes then x will be equal to eight because it already said eight additional but if it just says eight boxes, then X is equal to seven because the first box is the constant, the $50, okay? So now, how do we graph this? You need to make your function table, okay? So if there are no values for X, then you just put your own values. Now for this one, I will make my life easy since we calculated for uh, x equals 7, okay? I will just copy uh, 330, okay? Then I will need to use the formula to calculate for this. So y equals 40x plus 50, y equals 40 plus 50, y equals 0 plus 50, y equals 50. So no additional boxes means you only bought one box. Okay, that's why x is 0. You did not buy an additional box. Okay, so you're only paying $50 because you only bought one box. So what if you have one additional box? Okay, so y equals 40x plus 50, y equals 40 times 1 plus 50, y equals 40 plus 50, y equals 90, okay? So now let's plot our graph. Now, since we're talking about money, all your units will be positive because you want to earn money. So in that case, you do not need to do the whole graph, okay? We only need this part of the graph where y where y is positive and x is positive okay so let's do that now once again when you draw your lines okay please make sure it's super straight okay especially when you're using the ruler okay so there you go now this is our y-axis okay y and x axis so where the lines meet that is zero so now we need our intervals so for x 
Our intervals are very easy, okay? We can go from one to seven, okay? Why one to seven? Because see, the next question says using the graph, how much will Mrs. Nas earn if a customer buys five boxes? So we need to go at least, uh, we need to hit five. And since our units are zero, one, and seven, okay, we need to go at least up to seven. So this is the x-axis I can go, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Notice that I skip two boxes for every value, okay? You need your intervals to be consistent. Now, for the y-axis, it's a little bit tricky because you have 50, 90, 330. So, so we need to reach at least until 330, but our lowest value is 50. So let's put a squiggly line to save space and start with 50. So now we know it goes up by 40. So we can make our intervals go up by 40. So I can make this 90, 130, 170, 210, 250, 290, okay, 330, 370, 410, 450, okay? So that means uh, we went up by 40 and the value of 40 is represented by two squares. And this squiggly line, okay, shows that all the values from zero to 49 are contained in one block, okay? Now you might ask, Miss, you said the intervals need to be the same. How come the y-axis goes by up by one and how come this one goes by 40? It's okay. You need to have the same interval for each axis, okay? It can be the same for X and Y, but it can also be different, okay? So in this case, okay, our X axis goes up by one because we're just counting the boxes. So, uh, you know, you customers buy one, two, three, four boxes. Very seldom do they buy 1,000 or 2,000 boxes, okay? While this one, you need to look at your lowest value and your highest value so that uh, you can determine and estimate what your interval should be. For this one, I made it easy because I know my lowest is 50 and I know that it goes up by 40. So I use the interval of plus 40, plus 40, plus 40, and so on, okay? So let's graph our points. Okay, I'm going to use green for this one. So our first coordinate points are 0 and 50, okay? So if x is 0, y is 50. So there's our first point, okay? Just let me make it a little bit more centered, okay? Our, and then, of course, you need to label 0, 50, okay? Next is 1 and 90. So 1, I can do a line over here. There you go. And 90. Okay, so I know that this goes over here. Okay. Next, we have 7 and 330. Okay. So seven, I can just use my ruler and extend the line up, okay? And 330 is over here, okay? So this is where my line will go, okay? Okay, now let's label. Remember, we always need to label. This is one and 90. And this is three, uh, what's this? Seven and 330. Okay. 
So let's draw our line. So again, take your ruler and do an anchor point, and then you can move the ruler left and right so that it hits all, because we want to hit the center of all the points, okay? So let's do that right now. Okay, and make sure you go beyond the line, okay? Beyond the points. Now, if you look here, it's not quite centered, okay? So uh, I'm using the iPad so I can easily fix this, but when you're using paper and pencil, you need to make sure that all the points, okay, pass, are on the line, okay? So let me just adjust this, okay, perfect. Okay, so now we have a graph and let's look here did we do everything put numbers on the x and y axis we did that see we put numbers on the x and y axis uh, we drew the points and we labeled the points we drew a straight line okay so now let's do this one label the x and y axis what information does it represent okay so the x axis is number of additional boxes okay and the y-axis is total cost in dollars okay and we did that now let's put a title okay uh, what would be a good title what are we looking for Okay, Mrs. Nass's earnings from each customer, okay? Um, total earnings from each customer, okay? So remember, the title of the graph describes the information that you are getting from the graph, okay? So we do that, and now we have to label the line. And what is the name of the line? It's the linear equation, okay? So this is the name of the line. So we can just put here, this line is y is equal to 40x plus 50, okay? So we have made sure to include all of the important information, okay? So this is part of what is going to be marked when you graph, okay? So the next one, how much will Mrs. Nass earn if a customer buys five boxes of cookies? Now, if the customer buys five boxes of cookies, five, is X equal to five? No, because that's the total boxes of cookies. Remember, X is the additional boxes. So that would be five minus one. So X is equal to four. Now, when it says indicate in the graph with a red point, you don't calculate it. You don't use this to calculate for four. You need to show it on your graph, okay? So if X is equal to four, okay, it says use red. If X is equal to four, where does it hit your graph? That's why, okay, see, it, it hits the graph here. And so let's see how much it's going to cost. So we can see that if X is equal to four, Y is equal to 210, okay? So indicate with a red dot, okay? And we'll write our answer here. Okay, that's not very clear. Let's redo that. Okay, so Mrs. Anas will earn $210 if a customer buys five boxes because five boxes means there's only four additional boxes. That's why we went with four, not five. Okay, remember, it's a, X is the additional boxes. So you need to read the question carefully. Okay, so remember, when we're looking for this, Y usually is the total, okay? The C is the constant. It's what do you will, what will you always pay? No matter how many more you buy, what will you always pay, okay? And 40 is the add-ons 
and x is the variable because it's the one that changes the number of boxes bought changes okay the number of add-ons bought changes okay